Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, June 3, 2016. This week, filling shapes with text in Photoshop and Elements. Text wrap and more complex shapes. This week, we're continuing a series of tips for creatively shaping text in Photoshop and Elements. We're exploring ways to add pizzazz to our pages by journaling in more interesting shapes. This week, we're moving on to even more complex shapes. This technique will help you fit text into oddly shaped places on your scrapbook page template or project. When the shape you want to fill doesn't conform to a regular square, rectangle, oval, circle, or just a regular custom shape, it often helps to add or subtract a section from a custom shape to achieve the text path that you need. For example, some of the shapes in this template have cutouts. Here's how to fill those shapes with text and elements in Photoshop. Multi-step text wrapping. With your document open, begin by getting the custom shape tool. If you're working in Photoshop elements, locate the tool options at the bottom of the screen. Choose a shape and then choose a color that contrasts with your document. Tick the create a new shape layer icon and for the tutorial, Leave the shape size unconstrained and no style selected. If you're working in the full version of Photoshop, get the custom shape tool and find the options bar at the top of the editing window. Choose tool mode shape. Choose a fill color that contrasts with your document. No stroke and new layer under the path operations menu. Then choose a shape from the shape picker. Click and drag out the shape on your document. Now choose the shape that you want to cut out of the first shape. So for this particular template, I'm going to choose a circle because I want to cut that out of the top of this little text block that I'm building. So I'll get the custom shape tool and I'll choose a circle. Now this is just kind of a quirky little thing. I find that it works better if at this point you select the background layer and then select the original shape layer again. In the tool options, choose subtract front shape. Click and drag out the second shape. You can press the space bar to reposition your shape as you're clicking and dragging. Once you release the clicker, it's too late to reposition. When you let go, the little circle part is cut out. In Elements, it works the same way. Get the Custom Shape tool and select a shape. Draw out your shape on your page and then switch to the second shape. Choose Subtract from Shape Area and then start outside of your original shape and draw the second shape. Hold the space bar if you want to reposition your second shape and then release. You'll see that the little notch has been cut out of the original shape. If you want to add to the original shape, all you need to do is get a shape and choose add to shape area. And then you can click and drag out a circle or whatever other shape that you want to actually add to your project. When you release, you can see that it has added this little bump down here at the bottom. Keep adding and subtracting areas from the main shape until you have achieved the custom journaling area that you need. You can scroll through all of the custom shapes to find a shape that will help you alter your text box to fit whatever shape that you're filling. Up here at the top, you can choose all element shapes or all shapes and go through all this whole series of shapes to find a shape that will work for you. Switch to the Move tool if you find that you need to reposition your new shape on your page. You can resize by pressing Control T or on a Mac system Command T to get the transform controls. When the shape matches the space that you're filling, tick the check mark to confirm the shape changes and get the Type tool. Select a font, a font style, size, and color. And in elements, you're going to want to choose center text here in the tool options bar. 
Make sure that the shape you drew is selected in the Layers panel, and then drag your cursor over to your page. When the cursor changes to an eye surrounded by a circle, you can click and begin typing. Your text will be constrained to the shape. Tick the check mark to confirm the text, and then finish by hiding the shape layer. You do that by clicking the layer visibility icon, which looks like a little eyeball on the left side of the layer. If you're working in Photoshop, you'll get the text tool, choose your text font, style, size, and color here in the options bar at the top of the page. If you can't see the paragraph and character panels, you'll want to click here on this little icon at the end and then choose Paragraph. Click the icon at the far right, Justify All, to make your text fit a little bit better. Move your cursor over to your new shape, and when the cursor changes into an eye surrounded by a dotted circle, just click and begin typing. Your text will fill your new shape. Tick the check mark to confirm, and then hide your shape by clicking the Layer Visibility icon on the left side of your shape layer. This technique will help you journal in a shape that will fit the journaling space on your project. In the next tip, we'll use a different tool to create a text wrap path in Photoshop. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digitals tip.